Good morning, Reflecting Christ, February 9th, how we magnify the law. Matthew 5, 19 says, whoever practices and teaches these commands will be called great in the kingdom of God. What reason have men for thinking that God is not particular whether they obey him implicitly or take their own course? Adam and Eve lost Eden for one transgression of his command. And how dare we trifle with the law of the Most High and frame deceitful apologies to our souls? We do this at a terrible peril. We must keep all the law, every jot and tittle, for he that offendeth in one point is guilty of all. Every ray of light must be received and cherished, or we shall become bodies of darkness. The Lord Jesus declares, whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. We should magnify the precepts of heaven by our words and actions. Before the flood swept upon the world, God sent a message through Noah to warn the people of the coming deluge. There were those who did not believe the warning, but their unbelief did not stay the showers, nor prevent the waters of the great deep from submerging a scoffing world. And today, while the last message is being heralded to bring God's servants in harmony with every precept of his law, there will be scoffers and unbelievers, but every soul must stand in his own integrity. As Noah was faithful in warning the antediluvian world, so we must be faithful to the great trust that God has given us. Although there are scoffers on every side, we must not shrink from presenting the truth of heaven to this generation. There are those who will be glad to lull you to sleep in your carnal security, but I have a different work. My message is to alarm you to bid you reform your lives and cease your rebellion against the God of the universe. Faith in Jesus does not make void the law, but establishes it and will work the fruits of obedience in our lives. The church that Christ presents before the throne of his glory is without spot or wrinkle or any such thing. Do you want to be among those who have washed their robes of character in the blood of the Lamb? Then cease to do evil, learn to do well, walk in the commandments and ordinances of your God blameless. You are not to ask whether it suits your convenience to keep the truth of heaven. You are to take up your cross and follow Jesus, cost what it may. You will find that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Hope you have a great day today. Reflect Christ.